Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> I did a little bit more shopping at the Morphe store. I'm not becoming Jaclyn Hill, but I saw this palette on Instagram and I just thought the green eyeshadows in this palette were beautiful. And I don't see these type of greens very often and uh, so I just like, I bought it. <laughs> Went to the store and bought it using uh, Jackie Ina's coupon code, Edges, because I wanted to save 10%. <laughs> but this is the 35M Boss Mood. I have never, ever, ever tried Morphe eyeshadows. The only Morphe makeup product that I've tried was the bronzer that was very sad from my <laughs> previous Morphe video. So I don't know what to expect. I mean, they swatched all right, but so did this guy. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's not a complete fail. We shall see. I'm going to try it out. I'm going to be using those green colors that I love so much. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. What would it be? It would be kind of good, like a first impressions. First impressions slash tutorial featuring green eyeshadows. So stay tuned. So this is how the palette looks like. You know what it reminds me a lot of? Um, those huge eBay palettes that every YouTuber had back in the day that had every single color of the rainbow. I never got one just because I didn't shop on eBay back then, but it reminds me a lot of that. It's like the cheap, like plastic <laughs> packaging. It's large like those ones. You get fingerprints everywhere. Totally reminds me of that. What a throwback, even though I never participated in that. <laughs> but this is how the palette looks like. So it has a little eyeshadow name insert um not that people care what these shades are called but this is how the palette looks like these greens all of these greens up to here oh my god these three greens are just they're calling my name they remind me of <laughs> avocado <laughs> and um it just makes me very happy because i love avocados so i'm gonna be playing with those shades i mean the rest of the palette is nice but I honestly bought this $23 palette because of these eyeshadows. I know, kind of excessive, but you know what? Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do to get some green eyeshadows in her life. This palette has obviously no mirror, so I'm gonna have to hold a little mirror in front of me. First, let's prime the eyes. So today I'm not gonna be using my NARS primer just because I don't need this to last the whole day. I'm using the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Primer in Exposed. This reminds me of a uh, tea spills intro. Exposed, 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 exposed. <laughs> you are exposed there. I'm gonna expose you, expose you. Oh my God, expose you. Let's go in with this one. This one right here. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush to pick up the shade. So far, so good. The weird thing is, this is supposed to be a, like a pukey green, but I'm seeing some orange. I don't know if it's just reacting to the primer or if this color is already oxidizing on my skin, but it does look a little bit orange right over here. I don't know if it's coming through on camera. It did it less so I'm gonna keep just building it up it builds up really well I have no complaints the eyeshadow isn't powdery or anything like that it's not difficult to work with now I want to take a little bit of this guy and I'm gonna start placing it on like the outer corner this color actually applies really really well I don't know if I was blocking you with the mirror, but it's nice. It's really nice. Quality is nice. The color is nice. I have no complaints about this. This is like a true like avocado green. I take a little bit more. I'm just gonna start to wing it out a little bit. Now, I want to take this guy with a fluffier brush. Let's take this guy. And place this right above. Hmm. 
don't like the placement too much. I'm gonna take that minty green with a small brush. It's gonna go on my lid. I'm just gonna pack it on. This one needs some layers, but again, it's not patchy. It's not difficult to apply. I'm just gonna keep building. I'm only gonna apply it on the center. Back to the avocado green, and I'm just gonna create more of a gradient between those two colors. Now, grab this color. Ooh, this. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow brush. Okay, it's getting a little dirty. I guess it's because of this color. Okay, I'm gonna grab this, and I'm gonna grab. Let's grab this one. I'm gonna place this on the inner. I'm finding it weird that this shade, the shimmer, out of everything is giving me the most trouble. Usually matte formulations tend to be harder to formulate, but the shimmer is just a little bit difficult. I'm gonna go back to the first color and just lightly blend everything. Now, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna <laughs> grab this guy. I'm just gonna drag that color underneath. You know who needs to see this avocado inspired makeup look? Anthony from Queer Eye. Maybe then he'll be my friend. It's like, hey, I made this look. I was inspired by your love of avocados. And then he would be like, oh, you know, that's really cool. Friend, let's become friends for life. I don't even know what I'm saying, but this is totally an avocado inspired look. And I'm living for it. I am all for, all for it. I love avocados and have since I was a kid. I mean, I grew up in Tijuana just grabbing avocado had my mom slice it because, you know, sharp objects. Then I would just eat it with salt and that was it. <laughs> that was all I needed. Just to deepen it up a little bit. I'm gonna take just a little bit of this. I'm gonna apply it on the outer corner. Going in the outer corner. One last thing because every avocado has a pit, so we're gonna use some brown. Where am I gonna use it? I don't know. Let's put, it, put a little bit on the crease. Let's put a little bit on the crease. Just a little bit. A little bit. Oh yes. This is coming together perfectly. Avocado palette by Morphe brushes. Am I gonna become a Morphe babe after this? Actually, I don't want to become a Morphe babe. I just want to be an Avocados from Mexico babe. One more eyeshadow. I need to use this. A light shade in the inner corner. Okay, this one's nice. I am living for this. I am so excited. Wow. I'm, I'm actually very, very impressed with at least the greens. Okay, at least the greens in this palette. All the mattes performed so well. This one was my least favorite shade. This applied really well, but these, these are nice. I was, you know, pl I'm pleasantly surprised. I expected the worst, especially after this <laughs> bronzer, which sucked. I would just recommend the palette for the greens, but let me finish up this look. I'm gonna add mascara, liner, um, lip, and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. All right, so I'm back. I totally forgot to hook up the microphone <laughs> for the whole video. I'm a noob. And then this, I think, has died. So rest in peace, Amazon. Little remote control for my Canon T3i because I'm still stuck in like 2009. Still works. Why should I upgrade? That's my logic. But 
let's finish this video up with my final thoughts about the Morphe 35M, aka the Boss Mood Palette. Yeah, the Boss Mood Palette. <laughs> Which, the name of the palette just reminds me of um, Lonely Island. You know, the Like a Boss song. <laughs> I don't know why. But um, let's get back to this. I actually really enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm sure you guys noticed from when I was applying it, but those greens applied so, so nicely. This one was kind of turning a little bit orangey on, at first. I think it was actually reacting to how yellow this primer is. But, you know, I, I did a few more layers and then I saw the real color, so... I can't fault it on that. I did use a very yellow eyeshadow primer today, but everything blended really well. I didn't feel like the eyeshadows were necessarily hard to work with or dry or patchy. They didn't, you know, come off while you were blending it because I saw that was one of the issues with the Jaclyn Hill Vault palettes, especially the greens. The more you blended it, the more patchy it would get. So there's no issues with this one. Not with the greens, not whatsoever. So if you're a fan of green eyeshadows or want something that is, you know, better for the for the wallet than getting, you know, something like a, I don't know, like a Vizzy Art or... I don't even know who makes good green eyeshadows. Well, if you don't want to spend a fortune on green eyeshadows, then I think it's worth it to buy this palette just for the greens. As for the other shades, I will have to play around with them another day. Let me know if you want to see tutorials using, you know, some of these burgundy colors, some of these purples, or if you want me to do a random color challenge with this palette because it is very... It's a very fall palette. They should just name it the Autumn Palette, but maybe that's too logical for Morphe. I don't know. But yeah, I can maybe do some other videos using this palette because it's really pretty. And I was very surprised by the mattes. I thought they were going to be dry and patchy. I really did. Is it just me or like, okay, if you watch ASMR videos, then you want to tap everything. And this is very tappable. Random note. Very tappable. ASMR friendly. I like the greens. So I give this two thumbs up. <laughs> Morphe approved, Laura Nusa approved, please don't sue me, Jeffree Star. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, um, hit the notification bell because YouTube is really weird at notifying people when videos go up, unless you're like humongous, so hit that bell. I feel weird saying that. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. I'm gonna go rock my avocado look now. Bye! <laughs>